Hey gang, this is Mike with my real estate dojo. And for months I've been telling you guys that I'm personally investing in gold and silver. Um, and quick a quick background for you guys is that you know I'm a refugee to America. My parents had to leave Iran because they're not Muslim and the government was killing people and torturing them just like the Holocaust, so we had to exit overnight. And my parents transformed their currency from Iran into gold and they were able to come here and, and liquidate it into US dollars. So that's why I know gold works because they were in a third world country in America except the, the gold here. And so the same thing is going to happen, in my opinion, in other countries or wherever you are because the value of gold has always been the same since the beginning of mankind when the Greek Empire was there or the Persian Empire or the Roman Empire or so on. So the reason I came to the conclusion that I should invest in gold is because if you look around, um, you see that in the newspapers they're talking about how real estate is so good, how there's expansion going on, how if you drive around, I'm in the Dallas Fort Worth area, when you drive around, they're building new apartment complexes, they're building new construction, um, people are built, buying houses like crazy, realtors that exited in 2008 crashed that when got jobs or not re coming back into the field be, to become a real realtor, you know, you don't have to have a lot of experience and you could do real estate transactions right now. So if if you listen to that, if you listen to the media, uh, it's all about growth. If you look at the stock market, like for example, Dow, it's just going up and up and up. So real estate is up and up and up. Um, gold is up and up and up. Bond is high and interest rate is at an all time low and the Fed, uh, which is um, printing money like crazy. That's why we have fiat money. So something told me that everybody's going right. I got to go left. And I had a gut feeling inside. And, and, and I did my own due diligence. And I realized that gold is where it's at. And that's why I'm making this video. I've ordered many, many um, orders from different um, two vendors. Um, one is called Gold and Silver. And the other one's called Amex.com. I've done videos about them. And I'm going to unbox $25,000 worth of gold so you guys can look, take a look at and how does it look like. Now, there's supposed to be two shipments, and I got two, but one of the shipments from gold and silver, they, they send two different boxes, and the other one's going to arrive, I believe, in one or two days. So, this is what I have. Um, let's go ahead and go right through it. So, w one of the great things about me. Um, that many of you may know or may not know is that you know I'm an entrepreneur, uh, and what that means is I, after coming to America, after going to college, um, I started with a hundred bucks. Instead of getting a job and working for the man and working for the cubicle, I decided to live out of my car and start my my first business. And with that hundred bucks, I was able to um, turn around and start uh, investing in real estate in 2008 when the market crashed. Actually, 2007 fourth quarter. Uh, when I start you know, researching about real estate because the market had crashed, I was going to get into stocks, but I decided not to. And so anyways, to make the story short, I turned that into buying real estate, and then I started a real estate brokerage firm, and now I'm not doing any of those things, and I'm just working on being a public speaker. And so, But I am investing in gold, and I will buy real estate here and there. But my exit strategy is to buy gold when the market crashes, the gold price is going to go extremely high, and then I'm going to cash out all my gold and buy it. Uh, income producing rental properties like I've done before at the last crash. Uh, I'm not going to be actively looking for deals. If a deal comes to me, I'll buy it. If you got a deal in Florida, if you got a deal in Colorado, please hit me up. Subject twos. I'm only looking for subject twos. And so what I did is turn 100 bucks into uh, multiple businesses and then bought rental properties. So let's go ahead and unmask this stuff and see what we got here. So guys, like I said, I started with a hundred bucks, okay? I've never borrowed any money from the bank, I got a loan or anything like that. Let's see what we got. So we got some gold right here. Um, this is from Republic Metal Corporation. And then we got some sticky pads and some more gold. So that, that was one of them. Um, but we got a box full of stuff. So let's go to the next ones. Let me put this right here. Get my handy knife. 
guy. So, on my YouTube channel, I've done comparison between um, having rental properties versus gold. One of the cool things with me is that not only am I an entrepreneur that started with a hundred bucks, I also understand business really good, and I also understand real estate investing. Uh, I'm not one of the traditional investors that goes to the auction or you know, uh, or bids on HUDs. You know what? What I do is called creative financing, which I use my imagination and hard work and a lot of education. But I'm able to buy properties for a couple of grand, take over the existing mortgage, and you know, rent it out for a couple of years, babysit it. Uh, and deal with the bullshit that that brings, but then eventually, you know, in anywhere from between four to seven years in the last crash, I was able to cash out at each of these properties a minimum of a hundred grand uh, from the cash flow from the renters to um, the equity cash out. So I did order um, a couple of kilos of silver, but I bought majority gold. Uh, so I, this is a uh, one kilo of serve. This one looks pretty nice. Again, th this is from the same exact company. Um, so this is a kilo. It, it, it feels pretty good. Uh, now, a lot of people tell you that, hey, you should buy silver. The silver ratio from gold is, um, compared to gold is down. You get a lot of money for your silver. I totally 100% agree in some part and disagree in other parts. Um, for me, I think that too many people are getting into silver. So it might be not a great idea okay i'm not saying that the price is not going to go up i just think it's going to be a bumpy ride um where gold is you know valued everywhere you go uh silver is still iffy you know let's see what else we got all right this is another kilo you want to take a look at this one right here this one's that was the other one this one's a little nicer but uh, shinier, but another kilo of fucking silver. Now, um, for me, a couple of reasons why I didn't like silver as much is because the value is not that high, and therefore I have to hold on to so much more weight. And and just like the storage cost, you know, you put it in a vault, you, you pay somebody to manage it for you and store it, and it's just more space. And so, you know, with, for example, like if you have 120, for example, ounces or I think 260 ounces of you know silver, it may only be three of these bars, okay? Because gold is like so much more expensive. So you could have this or 260 ounces of this. So do you want to have so many of these, or do you just rather have just three of these? So that's my thing, uh, and that's why I invested heavily in gold. Um, I do have silver as you can see that I'm getting some silver and mass kilos but I didn't buy like quarters or dimes or ounces or ten ounces I bought kilos of them, uh, because of the stackability of it um, this one's a really nice looking one so I got multiple different types here's another kilo now some people have asked me, hey Mike, or I told, hey, buy some gold, you know, the market's gonna crash, these are close friends of mine, and they bought like rings and necklaces and stuff like that, and I definitely wouldn't recommend that unless you just wanna have it for yourself, but um, like, like I bought a couple of rings for myself, as you can see, I just ordered some more right here, um, but these are not for my investments, this is just something I'm just gonna wear myself, instead of buying like something that's gonna depreciate Crazy. Are we live? Yes. Wow. I guess there's, there's nothing in this one right here. I should have had a necklace in this one, but it's empty. Let's go see if they put it somewhere else. Well, there's nothing in this one as well. There's the, probably the holders. Huh? Maybe they're just the holders. Oh, just the holders? Yeah. Maybe. I hope so. I hope it's somewhere else. Um, so here we go. I can't get nervous right now. We still got more to go to. All right. So 
The other thing about like gold and real estate and hard asset is, if the depression hits, you don't have to participate in that. If you don't know what that means, go watch my YouTube channel. I've made a video specifically about that. Um, you can sit out the depression and wait for it to come back up. All right, so what is this? I think this is another kilo of silver. ounces of gold and four kilos of silver a couple of rings and necklaces that's one order and then I have another order right here so what I'm saying is if you guys are gonna invest in gold don't buy stuff like this like jewelry at like Jared's you know and the reason is that you're gonna spend a lot of money um, for labor. Uh, if you're gonna buy like jewelry, I would recommend going with these guy Amex because you could buy like a ring like this, you get a solid gold uh, 24 karat, 100%, and then just stick it in there. So you're not paying so much for labor as craftsmanship. For example, like something like this, you know, I had to pay a lot for labor. Like this is made in Italy, Italy, so, uh, you know, where I have an ounce, let's say, of gold in here, but I have to pay double or half of whatever the gold is cost for the labor of it and the import of it. Where here, um, you know, I just get a ring and then put a 24 hour, you know, coin right into it, just like this right here, as you can look at me, solid 24 karat. Um, so we got two of these, two of these that will go into the ring and I'll form one of these and these are for myself and I bought myself a chain. Um, I'm gonna, There you go. So these are not my investments. These are just my personal like little bling bling whatever. Um, but these are the investments and um, I got another package coming. Uh, I should have been here today, but um, that's why I like Amex or GoldenSilver.com because their shipping is way better. Um, like this, this is a shipment from Gold and Silver, uh, but they didn't sh ship me my remaining stuff. It's gonna come tomorrow or next day, and it's kinda like a little disappointing, okay? And so, this looks like a, a jewelry that I ordered, and then I ordered some more gold. Um, beautiful, beautiful. And this is a really nice one. Uh, this is 24 karat gold. I'm not sure this is gonna fit into my hand. Man, I just crushed it. This, this ain't gonna fit. And see, see how soft it is, and that's because it's 24 karat gold, um, solid. You know, uh, this costs a significant amount of money. I was gonna wear it, but it's, it doesn't fit my hand, unfortunately. So I don't know what to do with it now. All right, guys. Um, if you have any questions about where to buy gold, go to my YouTube channel. Um, I do have videos about it from my experience. Um, I also have videos on how to not to lose money. For example, when I put this order in. Two days later, the market crashed, and if I would have just waited two more days, you know, I could have saved myself a couple of hundred bucks. So this is what twenty-five thousand dollars looks like, minus about, um, I think, three more ounces of gold, uh, these, because that's what I ordered from the other place. So basically, yeah. So you, for twenty-five thousand dollars, you will get um, fucking thir This is thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six, sixteen ounces of gold. You get some jewelry, which is not the great. You get some kilos, which is very heavy, of ounces of silver, and you get a you know 24 karat solid um, ring. I mean uh, bracelet. It just doesn't fit me. I wish it did, man. Dang, dude. I don't know what to do now. Uh, but it's beautiful. Now look at it. I mean, it's just like solid, right? All right, guys. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. If you like these videos, please like, please share, please. Um, tell your friends about me. See you later. Dang, dude, I wish this thing would have fit.